Betrayal. Every single one of us has experienced betrayal in one way or another. And that betrayal will usually destroy relationships. It will usually bring us to our knees in a relationship. But every once in a while, there are those moments when forgiveness is given. When we're able to extend that olive branch of peace to the one who has betrayed us. And in the end, those relationships can be restored and those relationships can be made stronger than they were before the betrayal. In our passage today, we look at the betrayal of Judas against Jesus. And, and yes, Judas is usually considered the bad guy in the story. But in reality, it wasn't just his betrayal that sent Jesus to the cross. Let's look at today's passage. In the book of John, chapter 13, we read this. After saying this, Jesus was troubled in spirit and declared, Very truly, I tell you, one of you will betray me. The disciples looked at one another, uncertain of whom he was speaking. One of his disciples, the one whom Jesus loved, was reclining next to him. Simon Peter therefore motioned to him to ask Jesus of whom he was speaking. So while reclining next to Jesus, he asked him, Lord, who is it? Jesus answered, it is the one to whom I give this piece of bread when I have dipped it in the dish. So when he had dipped the piece of bread, he gave it to Judas, son of Simon Iscariot. After he received the piece of bread, Satan entered into him. Jesus said to him, Do quickly what you are going to do. Now no one at the table knew why he said this to him. Some thought that because Judas had the common purse, Jesus was telling him, Buy what we need for the festival, or that he should give something to the poor. So after receiving the piece of bread, he immediately went out. And it was night. When he had gone out, Jesus said, Now the Son of Man has been glorified, and God has been glorified in him. If God has been glorified in him, God will also glorify him in himself, and will glorify him at once. Yes, it was Judas and his act of betrayal that ultimately put Jesus on the cross. But what really put Jesus there was not just the betrayal of Judas, it was the, the ultimate betrayal of all of us. Every single one of us created in the image of God have turned our backs on God at one time or another. But forgiveness is available. That grace is available just because Jesus went to a cross. Just because Jesus was willing to, to take the burden of all of our guilt and all of our shame, our relationship with the Father can be restored. This moment of, of Jesus' arrest and even Jesus going to the cross, it's a time where we, we reflect on with some sense of sadness, but it's also a time of joy because Jesus was conquering death. And it was that act of love and grace that restored us into a relationship with the Father. As you dig into your Easter in a Box devotionals tonight, contemplate how it was our acts, your acts and my act that put Jesus on the cross. But with joy, we can look to that and see that Jesus restored us into a relationship with the Father. He conquered death. He conquered the guilt and shame of sin so that we can spend eternity with him in heaven. Yes, it's a moment of sad contemplation to think of what Jesus went through for us. But ultimately, it's a moment of joy to know that because he was willing to do that, our betrayal of him has been restored. We can now have that relationship in love with him because he loved us so much. If you don't have an Easter in a Box devotional, you will find the devotional in today's video description. So you can follow along with us. We still have a couple of days left in this Easter in a Box program. And I hope that it's making your Holy Week more special and drawing you closer to the Savior as we push towards the commemoration of his death on a cross and his resurrection on Easter Sunday morning.